Hey guys, I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing. I do how-tos, I do reviews, I do boat maintenance, I do fishing vlogs, and anything else fishing related, I do right here on this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. But let's jump right into where to bass go in the fall. One day it's summertime and you're out there on a main lake point fishing some structure, just slaying those bass. Or maybe you have this certain grass patch that you always throw a top water at and you can almost guarantee that you're going to catch at least two or three fish off that grass patch. A few weeks go by, a couple of cold fronts later, and you get back out on the water and you try those techniques again that were really successful in the summertime and they're just not producing the fish that they used to or not producing at all. That's fall for you. Where do bass go in the fall? Why are they going there? And most importantly, how do we catch them? Bass, like all creatures, focus on reproducing and surviving. Well, right now we're nowhere near the bass spawn, so we don't have to worry about reproducing. So let's talk about surviving. So surviving for bass, really have two main focuses here. You have food and you have oxygen. Let's talk about the oxygen first. Oxygen concentration throughout the entire lake changes during the fall. So let's talk about those fish that stayed in the grass during the summer. So these fish are getting their oxygen primarily from the grass. But as fall progresses, the oxygen concentration lowers in that area because the grass dies. But since these fish like the grass, they're going to move to more grass patches as long as they can. So they're going to move into these cuts and they're going to find still currently living grass patches because they're either protected from cold water or they just stay warmer in those areas because they're near rocks or something like that. For those fish that stayed in the deeper water, the oxygen concentration changes there too. So when the thermocline disappears, meaning when the, the lower water mixes with the upper water, the lower water has lower concentration of oxygen because it hasn't been mixing with the atmosphere. So when that water mixes, the oxygen concentration naturally lowers. So what do fish do when the oxygen concentration on the main lake lowers? Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm getting, I'm getting kind of hungry and I need a snack. Oh, never mind. I got a snack over here. Look at that. Pretzels. Oh, just like me, the bass are going to follow the food. Oh man, those are good. As the water cools, the bait move further into the cuts. Now, I believe the reason for this is because they're following their food supply, which is plankton or algae and those type things that survive a little better in the warmer, more protected areas. So naturally, the bass are also going to follow the shad up into these cuts as well. Bass know winter is coming. So they are definitely feeding up for the winter. Fattening those bellies up so they can survive through the winter time. So right now, during the fall, is the time to match the hatch. Find those shad imitating lures, those techniques that imitate shad, and hunt the shad down and hunt those bass down in those cuts, fish them hard, and you're going to be catching a lot of bass this fall. I wanted to clarify real quick what I meant by what a cut is. So during the summer, all of us are, you know, fishing these main lake points. Main lake, you got, you know, some points coming out on the main lake where the, you know, water depth drops off significantly. But as the water cools off and all the stuff that happens in fall happens, the bait push up into these cuts. Now, the bass follow, but they don't always follow the same way. Some will go into cuts that are inside the cut. Some will focus along the points inside the cut. And then some will find ledges. There's a ledge over here. And they'll find ledges and other types of structures that stick around as well. So that's what I meant by cuts. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Do you typically have a great fall fishing experience? Or were you like I used to be and just completely bust on the fall bass bite? 
Let me know in the comments below. I hope this video helped you guys determine where the bass are going to be this fall. And I hope you get out there and find massive schools and slay them. But like always, until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.